All right, so I have here my uh, third Surface that I've got open. Um, I've already opened up the files. You can see over here, Surface 3. I've also opened up a new blank drawing template. In this case, it's the uh, NCS uh, Imperial template. The reason I want to do that is because I need to put this into a template to have actual styles. If we check the layers in this one, you can see that we only have a few layers. With these few layers, that lets us know that we don't have a style. So what I want to do is grab all of my current entities, just go to copy, you can do control C, which I like to do normally, but it doesn't work very well if you can't see it. So I'm going to copy these. I've copied those to the clipboard. Should down in the bottom left here in our command line should show us that we've copied 786. Going to click on the drawing. Now in my new one, if I look at the layers real quick, I can see all the uh, NCS names of all the layers for this template. Those are the ones that I'd like to use. If I right click and go to clipboard, I have this option here to paste to original coordinates. When pasting contours, I like this one because it will put it back into the same space that it was originally. Clicking that, uh, we gotta wait just a moment. This is not terribly exciting, is it? With them pasted in here, then all we have to do is zoom extents out to it to see them. Alright, now that I've got my cursor back, if I do a zoom extents, just ZE, that'll bring me to where my drawing is. In this case, my whole drawing is now I have all my data in this brand new template. If I look at it, I see that I've got some random points. These things here, these are little block references, just like our previous one that we worked on. But all of these things here are polylines sitting at an elevation. And the elevation pretty much matches this green text, which is currently in here. And this text is just plain Jane D text. Nothing interesting about that. But since I want to make a surface, all I really care about is just the yellow and red lines. I'm going to go up here and freeze everything else. Hit the little snowflake icon, freeze out the green guys, that guy, this border, my little labels, and freeze out that. Now I'm just left with my little contour data. That is what I'm going to put into a surface. To do that, let's go over to the prospector, right click on surfaces, say create surface, and here I'm going to give it a new surface name of EG, and because I like to I'm going to change the surface style to this 1 and 5 design. Say OK. Say OK. Now, if I go back to my surfaces in the prospector, I open that up. I see I have an EG. If I open up EG, I've got masks, watershed, and definition. And what I really want to do right now is define this using contours. Right click on contours, click add. For now, I'm going to say all. And for this particular project, the weeding distance and the supplementing distance are just fine. And all the minimizing flat areas will be adequate. I'm going to just zoom out just a hair. Select everybody. There we go. Click that. If it finds 468, it's about what I was looking for. I'm going to hit enter. And it should add all these contours to the uh, surface right now. So if we click on contours, we said ha now it has a black dot. That's letting us know that it has all 468 lines have been added to it. If you got a whole bunch of errors popping up, it isn't really important. It's just telling us that contours don't like overlapping so much. No biggie. Alright, at this point we've got a surface. Now that we have our surface in here, let's turn a few things back on. We can scroll through our list all the C things are the default civil objects so we know that all of ours were named something else so here I can see my little pink spot elevation my little dim but if I go down here to work extents that's going to show me my border that I need to add a border to the surface I want to go over here to back to the prospector go to boundaries right click on boundaries say add from here I'm going to give it a name, Limits. It's going to be an outer boundary because we're not trying to show or hide anything right now. It really shows only work inside of hide boundaries. Um, Non-destructive break lines because I don't want to have rough little edges around here. I'm going to say OK. Pick my green line 
And if my red and yellows come back and my surface shows up in here, success. All right. And at this point here, I probably should save this because it still says drawing one over here. So I'm going to go up to little A. I'm going to say save as. And make sure that I'm in my class files. For project three, I'm going to save this as project three. I could just type that in, but I already had one made. Just say save. I'm going to replace it. And now I've got a new file. There we go. Project 3, created from Surface 3. Now, let's clean up my space a little bit so I can see it a little better. I'm going to go back to the Freeze Layer icon. Click on the red lines and the yellow lines. And now, I've got just my surface hanging out here.